Hello, everyone. I'm Brian. Today, let me introduce a newly launched automotive oscilloscope from Hantec. The model is 2D82 Auto. It is specially designed for automotive diagnosis. The oscilloscope comes with over 80 automotive diagnosis functions. And abundant accessories. It also has other functions such as common oscilloscope, waveform generator, multimeter. Today I will perform a camshaft sensor test with this oscilloscope. The car to be Diagnosed is Honda Accord, the seventh generation. Look at the letters on the engine cover. D O H C means double overhead camshafts. So there are two camshafts and two camshaft sensors. The sensors are located on the side of the engine block. The sensor has three. Wheels, power, ground, and signal wire. This is another one. We need to find out the signal wire to proceed the test. But how can we find it out without a manual? Just use the oscilloscope. With its multimeter function, first connect the multimeter probes. And insert three needles into the connector separately. Next, start the engine. Turn on the scope and switch to multimeter function. Place negative probe onto a. Stable earth point. And touch the positive probe to the three needle one by one. Let's look at the meter readings. Nearly fourteen volts. It must be a power wire. Zero for ground wire, and nearly four point five volts. It must be the signal where we are looking for. Find out another sensor's signal where the same way. And now we can proceed the sensor test. Prepare two test leads with needles. Insert the positive pole into the signal where. And plug the BNC into the 
channel one or channel two connector on the scope. The test the test leads are long enough to reach the cap. Now let's turn on the oscilloscope. Select automotive oscilloscope. Select vehicle oscilloscope sensors. Camshaft, camshaft, hall effect. The channel one is on by default. Let's turn on channel two manually. Now start the engine. The two square waveforms generated by the two sensors appears, but they need some adjustments. Use left or right button to change voltage skew. The use up or down button to move the waveform vertically. Press down the time button, use up or down button to change the time base setting. Now, let's step on the gas to see what happens. We can see that the signal frequency varies with the engine speed. The figure button is a utility button. There are many powerful tools inside. First, we can save the current waveform if necessary. Saved. Touch cursor but button to display the sub-menu of a cursor measurement function, where we can set cursor measurement configurations to configure which channel and whether voltage or time interval to be measured. Use up and down button to move the cursors to proper positions and voltages or times value and interval values are displayed below. And back to the sub menu to select measure function. A information window appears showing the automatic measurement of the waveforms. In this section, there are also some functions to configure the oscilloscope, including backlight set, calibration, etc. Performing a 
calibration before a test is recommended. Uh, power of the engine. Finally, let's recall the the waveform we saved just now to examine. Here, we can also make some adjustments to display proper waveform. Press down time button. I use up and down arrow button to move the waveform vertically. And Press down the time button. Use left or right button to move the waveform horizontally. The test is almost over until now, and the instrument performs very well so far. If you are interested about the device or automotive diagnosis, please follow and subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit my AliExpress store to get the item. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.